is your view. <laughs> Just imagine that. And sorry for that loud noise. The generator is on. Today is day two at the villa. We woke up real early. Yeah. And uh, we were just chilling in bed aimlessly. Wi Fi yeah. was off. The Wi Fi was yeah. off. Because <laughs> the generator was off. Yeah, because they're still building. So there's a yeah, lot. Yeah, uh, there's a lot going on. Yeah. Over there, that's my grandmother. Sorry, sorry. It's okay. That's good. Yeah, that's where she stays. And so these materials. I think it's it's generally an African thing. All African countries have this, like the women wear these. Yeah. But um, but for I know Nigerians call it wrappers. Yeah, we call it shitenges. We call it shitenges, and so, so it's usually, just a material. What is, um, this is a sign of respect. When yeah. you go amongst the elders or when you go out as a lady, yeah, you know, instead of showing your complete figure as like we wear leggings and stuff, yeah, like that, or jeans, we try to cover that to show respect mm -hmm. to our elders. And also, what happens? It it shows that you are grown. You are a woman. Yeah. And um, usually, when a, a girl gets her first period, this is her first gift that she's given. Yeah. And she wears this to show that she's now grown, she's now a lady, she's now transitioning into a woman. Into a woman. And now the children. Yeah. Something like that. I can explain it very well. No, that's a good explanation actually. Yeah. That makes sense. Even me, I understand very nice. So yeah. This is it. I came in my Croxies. Look how cute she is. Okay, now we're in the field guys. So past the little wall here. So that's the house all the way there. Past the little wall here. This is all the field and you can see uh, I think they've already harvested because this is this is dry. Here's a little baby cub. See? So it looks like it comes with a with a, with a head of hair. <laughs> Look at that you can literally brush it. As kids they play with this as hair. And then there's your cub. So we're in the middle of where you find all the sugar cane. So this is the sugar cane. And oh, this one's nice and thick. I like this one. So yeah, this is what it looks like. It almost looks like corn loki. Mm -hmm. I did it! Big t-shirt with some biker shorts and um, crocs. I didn't put tea in there, I just put water and milk. I completely forgot. Oh? <laughs> Girl, what's going on? This is what the sugar looks like. My Alex, like, what, who do I think I am right now? And I'm just having, because um, I've been having an upset stomach, so I'm just having wheat bix, wheat or whatever you people call it. Wheat we call it wheat bix. So, can't even see, but yeah. Look at this 16 year old girl. If I told you, girl, you guys are real age, you would never ever expired it. <laughs> anyway, we're out of here, guys. We did a bad thing, then we got chased out. <laughs> Hi guys, so I just wanted to come on and welcome you guys to a new vlog um, Today is Thursday day two at the village and they're still working on the village uh, here. They're still working on the house and they're gonna be working in our room and so my dad said that we should go into town and stay at a hotel He's tonight. He's bringing us for the hotel. <laughs> He's bringing us in a hotel tonight while they work in the room and hopefully by tomorrow it will be all done. Sorry, the camera's gonna be shaking because we're just driving we're out now. So yes, we're on our way. To, we're gonna we're gonna run errands and come back, but because but he said that we should just go and stay in town. And we'll be back tomorrow morning. So yes guys, welcome for you guys who are seeing my face. I know you can't see me very well, but you will see me. Seeing my face for the first time, my name is Ruth. I am a Namibian based in Canada, but I'm currently in Namibia. 
and I vlog travel and lifestyle. This time around we are traveling. So yes, if you so wish, do subscribe and join the fam fam. For those of you who are returning, y'all know I love you and I hope you enjoy this vlog. the river is Zambia so we are in we are in the view of two different countries right here Namibia Zambia and this is the Zambezi River so yes let's say hi honey <laughs> finally I think that's the the boat that we're gonna go on for the boat cruise Beware of crocodiles and hippos, no swimming. People have died here so many. Because every time people are telling me somebody died, somebody go. I heard you want to leave this place where we grew up. This old town, just put it all behind. Remember you and I would always find somewhere to hide when we were kids so we could see. River's gonna cry when you're gone Where will you go? Won't you miss the ones you know? I'll be here, hanging on Waiting for your call Seems like time As a wave passing by River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're gone. So, do you, the crocodiles come up this way? At night? I'm scared, dude. When we climbed up in those trees, 12 years old, feel the wind. And take a picture later. You don't want to sit here next to me. No, I want you to take pictures of me. Right? Wait. Who's gonna cry when 
So if you guys can see in there, they also come and do like washing here. So this is a, this is not just a river, but it's a laundromat. <laughs> per, if you've reached this point in the vlog, you already know what to do. <laughs> yeah. And we're out. It's goodbye. Carry your load. Carry your load. Uh, carry your <laughs> yes, guys, it's been amazing. It's been an amazing night. We're headed back to the village. Going to see my daddy. Um, I think we're gonna stop somewhere. I my sunglasses broke, so we're gonna go grab some sunglasses, and then we're gonna drive back. It's probably like an hour from town. Okay, guys. One thing about Africa is uh, you're gonna have variety of hair products per. Just look at that. All this is hair products. Rebecca, isn't this like heaven? It is. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So I just wanted to show you guys this mat here. That is called, we call it a sasa, and it's made out of reeds, right? Yeah, and then they bind it here on both ends, like so, and then it just becomes a mat that you can come and sit on um, outside. So yeah, so we just sit here and come and sun bask. Say good morning. Rebecca um, caught a cough, so she's not feeling well this morning. So hopefully by the end of the today she'll be feeling better. She's drinking um, what water with lemon, ginger, onion. This is another blended ginger, lemon, garlic. <laughs> and then she's downing water. So by fire, by force, she'll be feeling better. Yep. And so yeah. We have things to do, man. I showed you the banana tree. But it hadn't flowered. So I wanted to show you what it looks like when it does that. So these kind of peel out or something. And then, oh. Um, they fell. It's okay? Oops, I don't know. I look homeless, guys. I'm so sorry I'm coming up on here like this. But I'm about to show you guys how we get so here's a fire and we have warm some water on here and so I'm gonna put it in this bucket put hot water in this bucket and then go take a bath so Rebecca is just pouring the hot water into here some hot water guys so I'm going to go into the bathroom and mix it up with cold water and go take a shower, a shower, a shower. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour hot water in there so it can mix and be the temperature I like. And then I'm gonna take a bath. Good morning, guys. Okay, so um, it's today Saturday, and so we're Second Day Adventist, and so we have church, and we go to church. At least here in my dad's house, we have to wear head coverings to cover our head, and so. We're going to church. We're so late. People are already like, not. It's not like a church. It's kind of just like everybody's sitting together and we're worshiping or something. And um, we're so late. Rebecca is still in the bathroom showering, and I'm I'm just about to go and sit down. And yeah, so just in case when I'm showing you guys what's happening, you're not confused. It's church, kinda. And yeah, I'm going in there. Mm -hmm. My name is Zimi Wang. 
This is Vanga. Tell them your name, girl. This was Nsazi. And this is. Hey, Baba, say hi. This is. This is Frank. Frank, and this is. This way, baby. Mate. Mate. So, these are like my sons. They wake. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Hello, Bob. 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 Things are fine. Bob. 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 It actually really, yeah. Yeah, you take those and you you burn them on the fire until they become um, ash. Uh -huh. Then you take that ash, you put it in a container or a pot and boil it. Uh -huh. And then you take that and put on your hair. And you just keep stretching and stretching and stretching. And it oh, relaxes. Hot. And it relaxes. Everything you need is in nature. God has already supplied every single thing. Her. I wanted to show you guys you see those huts the walls that are those walls that are used for those huts they get the clay from here so they dig <coughs> big holes and then they take that you mix it with water it's it takes technically like cement and then you can go ahead and make it's yeah it's not as strong as cement so this is the road we drive when we're going to the main road it's the same road you drive to go back so that yep that's my queer we call them queer that's grandmother and then our our house where we just walked away from it is over there hello guys hello guys oh gosh i've missed this camera so i couldn't record with this camera because there was no space but i finally fixed it and we're back like we never left hey guys <laughs> You can't really see Rebecca in the background. Um, like, Rebecca is not feeling well. Yeah. She has a cough and inflamed tonsil, so it's bad. She's taking medication and stuff, and we're just hoping that it gets better and gets better. But anyway, guys, I want to just um, thank everybody for watching and for keeping tuned and for sharing and for commenting and for liking. I really appreciate you guys. You guys motivate me to keep making vlogs and keep making videos. If you made it this far, for those of you who um, have not subscribed yet, the subscribe button is right down below and I've been telling you the entire video that you should subscribe <laughs> I'm so annoying right now, but anyway the subscribe, subscribe button is right down below. Please like comment and subscribe um, Also, the notification bell is right next to the subscribe button So you'll know when I post the next lit video because the next vlog is starting right now So I'm gonna take you guys along with me with what I'm doing next But that's you have to come back for that one. So yes guys, I just wanted to close off the vlog here and thank you guys for watching um so yes we'll see and you on the next douche. one douche as always <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs>